I think everybody's anxious to see who the winner is. Thanks for spreading the love. I actually took out a few of the signs I created. Um, they were doing really good, and I wanted the, a customer to win. So, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Let's, uh, let's see. We've got 14 on. I think that's good. I think we can share which sign won. Okay, you ready? Drum roll. It was the lighthouse. That one won the contest. Thank you, Dawn. And it was Denise Stanford who requested a lighthouse sign, but she also requested the lighthouse from Cape Hatteras. And this is the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse. So congratulations, Denise. Hopefully you'll be watching. I know, right? Just the colors in this were awesome. And she wanted either a red or a blue truck at the bottom. There were several of the country ones that came in really close. Like I said, I pulled those because I think um, they were mine. So I don't know if Denise is on. Hopefully I can get in touch with her and she can send me her address so we can send her her free sign. Maybe somebody might want to private message her. I wanted it to be a surprise, but I was kind of hoping she would be on. Oh, well, she'll learn soon enough if she doesn't hop on. Okay, and the other sign I was trying to tell you about that went great with that ribbon that Susan was using was the apple blossom sign, this one. And doesn't that, that's like a perfect match. I just think that's awesome. Okay, the other night when we were on and we were discussing all the new signs, everybody was coming up with different ideas. And one of the ideas was to go ahead and use the peach with the blue, because I'm going to do this sign. I'm going to do this one on a wreath today. Um, they were requesting this peach, because that's in there, and the blue. Well, the navy blue that I had was disgusting. It was falling apart. Um, so it now sits in the trash. We're not going to use it. Oh, how do you like that? My computer's doing its own thing here. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. But I have to thank you all for the awesome ideas for the signs. They were amazing. They are already off to a hot selling, uh, a hot selling time. Let me tell you, because everybody started ordering after Monday night's live. There we go. My computer has a mind of its own today. Let me uh, take this down. Okay, there we go. Hello. So hopefully she'll, she'll see it. But anyhow, I started off with the, the navy blue, which looked really awesome with the peach, but it was coming apart it is not a stiff mesh and it is just fraying terribly and i threw it all in the trash i'm not going to mess with it it's just too much of a hassle so i decided to go with the peach and i decided to go with this because i like how this flumes out here you know how you when you're at the shore you see all that um Hi, Nanny Dot, all that stuff along the side of the road in the marshy areas. This reminded me of that. And it has like a glitter in it, which reminded me of the ocean, the way the, the water sparkles at night. So we're going to go with this. All right. Now I'm going to attempt the Jackie Weave. So the way I do the Jackie Weave, you could use um, one of your cardboard tubes to roll yours up. I actually have a piece of PVC pipe. Now this is three quarter inch. 
I like this better because for me it sticks out on the ends so I can grab it better. I just keep watching to see if Denise pops on. So what you do with the Jackie Weave is you roll it up and I find it so much easier just to roll and slide it out. So here we go. I attempted this before and stunk at it. So now I'm going back for round two. That's why I tried it out in the beginning to make sure I knew what I was doing so I didn't tell anybody the wrong thing. And that's when the blue started coming apart. So that's when I knew the blue was not for me. And this mesh, the peach mesh, is very sturdy. So you actually go through here. Kind of like the awareness ribbons. You have your two curls on the end. I made my own wreath base. Of course, you know, I like my tinsel ties instead of my pipe cleaners. So this is what we're using. Doesn't that look pretty together? I still think this is going to really look nice on this when it's done. You still have your, your browns and your beige in here and your peach. And we can bring some of the colors out in the top of the sign in our ribbon. Okay? So, how's everybody doing today? Everybody doing good? All right. So, we're putting the curls in here on top of the peach curls. If I missed anybody's comments or missed you coming in, I will go back at the end. Sometimes it's just difficult on our end to see everything. Shipped a lot of signs today. Dawn, yours went out. I can't wait to see your grandson's wreath. Go through the middle. I'm loving these two colors together. I know it's not what you guys had hoped for, but I am loving it. Now these, these um, rolls, it's 21 inch mesh cut at 10 inches. Really? I don't have a problem with it, Vicki. I I always <laughs> I have very long arms. I'm I'm tall in that aspect. So I don't leave um if I have long sleeve shirt a long sleeve shirt on, I pull them up. So it wouldn't bother me. Hi Dawn, welcome. See I'm liking this. I'm liking this like nautical look almost hi Joanne welcome how are you liking it down there miss you up here I can see when everybody jumps on it tells me when you're on Nice to see some new faces. All right, so we're going through the middle. Yeah, I, I think it'll, it'll, I can still salvage it since I had to throw out the, the navy. It just, just wasn't working for me. 
I tried rolling it with the tube too, and it was not rolling well either. So I thought, you know, I'm not even going to attempt it. But I like my pipe. Because my pipe goes, like I said, out further than the, the mesh. So just something different. You only cut your mesh at 10 inches. Oh, there goes my phone again. You would have thought during this time we would not have all the phone calls we are having. I would have thought these telemarketers would have been closed and wouldn't have to listen to these people anymore. Not so. Yes, they do. Hey, Susan. Can't wait to see that dentist wreath. Or, yeah, you did share, share pictures of that and the welcome one. Still liking these colors together though. I have had this peach for the longest time, so I've been dying to use it. Yeah, they are. Oh, cool. Well, I'm glad you're here to see it, Brooklyn. I might have to cut some more. I may not have cut enough. <laughs> so it's like I said, an awareness ribbon. Okay, so you're just going through the middle of the other one. So you end up with a, a wrapped around poof with um, curls at the end. It's called the Jackie Weave. It's like two awareness ribbons put together. It's just every time I do it, I don't think I'm doing it right. But it looks like I'm doing it right. So you end up in a tie, you end up with two curls from each one. I just love, 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 love these colors. Yeah, and they're cut at 10 inches. So it's a good way to use up some leftover mesh. Yeah, just look up Jackie Weave. A lot of people have done it. see okay yeah there we go I am gonna have to cut more nope we want the tan next don't we there we go then we want the pink or peach I really appreciated everybody checking in with the contest and voting. 
that was a lot of fun and it won't be the last time I do one I will do another one because that was just awesome I have so many great ideas the support was amazing I really appreciated it and keep watching because I have some new sign shapes I'm going to be introducing next week I also am going to be doing personalized dog tags for little dogs big dogs um, lots of pattern lots of color okay so we're done that one so I am going to have to cut um, four more. Is it four more? Well, I'm going to cut four more of each. Now we do them at 10 inches. I was really trying today to find some seagulls I'm not gonna do a lot of I'm not gonna do any tails in this actually I'm going to do a, a bow but then I want to find some seagulls to put in it I think they will make it and of course places that have been shipping to me have been so slow that if I order, it's going to take forever to get here. So this wreath may be a work in progress. I also have some new shape um, wreath attachments coming in that you're just going to love. We're going to match with the sign and match with the wreath. So let's see. Start with the peach. Uh, Denise Stamford one. She's the one that wanted a lighthouse. And she also wanted the Cape Hatteras lighthouse, which is what that is. So, she is our winner. Yes, a starfish and sand dollars. I know I have sand dollars. <coughs> I just have to find them. I know for a fact I have those. So like I said, this is just going to show you the method. And then we're going to add the sign and the bow. And then I will finish it. <coughs> when I find everything else. <laughs> But I'm just loving these two colors together. Good grief. Who knew? Yes, thank you. I appreciate that, LaVon. It's just this, this pipe is longer. You could use, if you didn't have it, you could use the inner tube from your 21 inch mesh. I just prefer this because it sticks out past and I can get a better grip on it. <coughs> Excuse me. And if any of my um, puppy parents are watching that have one of my chocolate Yorkies from the chocolate box of chocolates litter, happy birthday. Cannot believe that today was their birthday. And I think it was Twix and Lily too. So we have another birthday. I gotta start writing these down. Because I'm running out of memory <laughs> to remember all of them. So oh my god these colors 
and I could just go with that alone. Now I'm probably going to have to make another sign and this one's going to have to have more peach in it because I'm just loving this. Like maybe one with just seashells and starfish, right? I think the one that got second favorite was, don't tell me, this one. This is the sign everybody was raving about. And this background I've had for a while. And so I got a few orders for those. I'm going to have to make a couple more, cut a couple more. For some reason, I thought it was just nine of each color, but no, it's not. It's 21 inch mesh cut at 10 inches. What, one of these, Patricia? Did you order it last night? I know I shipped out a bunch today. I probably did. If you did, I did. Because <laughs> I got everybody's done. Then my new heat press came in. <gasps> I am so excited. I cannot wait to... I opened the box. It's so heavy. I can't even take it out of the box. But I'm going to be able to do so much more. I actually have um, personalized flags I'm going to be doing. Okay, then it shipped. Are you in Texas, Patricia? Because I know I shipped one to Texas. I shipped a couple things to Texas. Okay. hope that's not my dog food delivery. The guy knows that I am on a live at two o'clock <laughs> and it'd be just like him to show up in my driveway. Yep, I'm going to have to cut a couple more. So I cut four, I'll probably have to cut four more each. Oh, Georgia. Yep. Yep. It did go out. Then there's a Patricia in Texas that ordered. <laughs> Look how full this is. I mean, I'm sorry. If I added um, tails to this, I think it would take away from the beauty of it. That's my next one, Patricia. I've had a request for a firefighter one and a paramedic one. I am working on a nurse one right now. You are so welcome. I just love it when you guys give me ideas. That's been the fun part. I love the custom signs. I also have some camping signs coming out too that you are just going to love. Let's just leave the tube out of this one. So y'all staying safe? Yes, I do. Most of the time I announce them on my live. I show them on my live. And um, I posted a bunch of ribbon in my Etsy store. You'll find a lot of ribbon that matches my signs. There's more ribbon that I will be putting on. 
if ever you buy a sign for me and you're not sure you have ribbon to match it you just send me a message and I'll tell you what I have and we can add it to your order I'm excited I and I tell everybody please 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 send me pictures and if you go live making making your design let me know I want to share it I want everyone to get ideas from everybody else and you guys were amazing the other night when I released the signs because you just started popping off with ideas of mesh color and ribbon and I, I just love it when we all share like that. I have this um, I have this page and then I also have Robin's wreath signs and more. If you're not a member of that one, you need to become a member of that one because that one I give out special discounts occasionally and only to those that follow me on that page. So if you're not following me on Robin's wreath signs and more, what is wrong with you? Get over there. Put your name down. Because they're going to be exclusive deals. And with some of the new ones I have coming out that I have wreath attachments to go with them, they will only be posted over there and they will be in limited quantity. And a lot of times I'm going to only release like six. So you'll be one of seven with that wreath. How awesome is that? It's just because I want, I, I like to be different. I don't like to be like everybody else. I'm an individual and that's the way I like to be sometimes. So, I need some more. You have to answer a few questions, okay? And then I have to approve you to be on the group. And the only reason I'm doing that is because we have a lot of crackpots on Facebook. And I only want serious wreathers over there. Not to mention, we got a lot of people copying off each other. So, we're trying to keep it at a minimum. very hard there's a lot of us making signs now so it's really hard to come up with something different and it's not fair when you come up with something different and then somebody uses it so just trying to keep things on an even even playing field great all right Trisha as soon as I get off here I will get on there. That's where I posted the contest for the um, wreath signs. So, why not? Look at Denise. She joined. She's the one who gave me the idea for the lighthouse sign. And then she won. And I don't know. I had another contest before. And I'm wondering if Denise was the one that won that contest, too. Now, am I going to end up right here? Why does it feel like I'm not going to end up right? So if I do a pink, a peach next, and there's eight up top, so one, two, well, we're going to leave it at that because you know what? I'm sure I messed up somewhere here, but because I can't find it, we are going to put the bow right there. Work smarter, not harder. And that's what we're doing. So let me just put these two up here so I know that's where the bow's got to go. All right. So, I know, isn't it beautiful? 
<laughs> awesome idea, Levine. Levine suggested that I put a small hook here so I can hang my wreath up there and get it out of my way. Awesome sauce. Thank you, girlfriend. I'm just pulling up some of these little curly cues early here. Look at that. Does that not look beautiful? Woo! All right, where are my curly cues? Right here. All right. Yep, they're there. So where did I mess up? Because it should come out even. All right. Pretend there's a hook there. <laughs> All right, now, this I brought out, but I'm not liking it. It's not going to work. All right. Well, you can go right there. All right, we've got several colors here. Now this I've had, and this I could use, but I don't think I'm going to. All right, where's our sign? All right, so we've got black and white in here. So I got a black and white check. I have a peach. I have a dark blue with white. And I wanted to throw a little bit of the tan with white in it. We got some new ribbon here. It's never been opened. See, and I buy a lot of my ribbon in the 50 yard rolls. It takes three yards sometimes just in one color to make just a, a simple bow. So I can always, always cut you guys. 10 yard roll or 10 yard pieces. Yes, you do. And we so appreciate it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. There's my red cheetah ribbon. All right. So I think I'm going to start out with this first. I'm going to do this one second because I want it to be in there but i want this color behind and then i want this color in front of see what i'm saying and then i kind of like this with it too and you've got several shades of of blue going on in here so i could always put that one in there too let me let me just do a visual here. Okay, we've got black and white, we've got the peach, we've got the blue and white, we've got the tan, and we've got the white and blue striped. I also have this blue, so maybe this one is not what I'm looking for. Maybe this one is because it, it pops a little more than that that's kind of like a baby blue. So, okay, Levon, this is where we jack it up. That's what Levon and I like to say when we're getting ready to really spice up the wreath. What do you think of those five colors, Levon? Are we jacking it up enough? Or do we need to add another punch of color? You've got some green down in here. You've got the red truck. I just don't think I like the peach and the red together. Perfect. All right, she loves it. Thanks, Dawn. Love it, love it, love it. All right, now, I may just do something a little different today. Can you tell I'm in a good mood? I got to see my grandson today. I popped over to see him, and he grabbed my finger for the first time. Oh, what a feeling, right? All right, so I may do like my own type of freehand here. So I want about a 14 inch. Don't you love it? When they glue ribbon together, well, you know what? We're just going to keep that in the middle of that 
I got two pieces glued together. Is that about what I'm, yep, okay. I'm just gonna do a couple loops on each one freehand. And see what it turns out to look like. Don't do as I say. <laughs> Feeling a little cocky today. I don't know if that's a word I'm allowed to use, but I used it. They'll get over it. Or they can put me in Facebook jail. I don't care. Alright, so I'm just making some loops. The first three I'm going to do like a six inch loop. By first three I mean the two and a half inchers. Now, because I have my two over this side, my two tails, I'm going to put my other two tails on this side. So I'm going to flip it. All right. Hello, and welcome. We're flying by the seat of our pants here. And no, I didn't find a hairdresser. I cut my own hair. Been waiting for somebody to say, yikes, what the heck did you do? But it was time. Denise, you won. Denise is on. Woohoo, baby. There's the one that you suggested, and that's the one that won the contest. With your Cape Hatteras Lighthouse. How's that, dear? PM me your address. This baby's coming your way. Awesome. I thought you were going to miss out. Yay. Good job, Denise. Everybody loved that one. Now I'm getting custom orders all over the place. <laughs> yep, we just did the Jackie Weave. We tried it with, um, I tried some of this navy blue that I had. I was going to do peach and navy blue to pull out the colors in here. But that navy blue was a mess. So. Thank you, Brooklyn. All right, so... Okay, next we're going to do this. So, dropping to the one and a half inch. Whoa. This baby's getting away from me. There we go. I'm going to drop it down a half an inch, the loops now. And I'm doing the loops like freehand. I'm just twisting, making sure they both measure up the seam. I'm doing three loops and two tails. And then if I have two tails on this side, then I flip it and I have two tails on this side. Okay. All right. Then next we're going to go with this solid blue because we're pulling out the lighter blue. We've got lighter blue throughout this. It's more like an aqua, I think. doing about a 14 inch tail and for this we're doing five five and a half inch loops and I'm just doing three Denise did you know you won or did somebody tell you you want like have you been watching the stats on everybody voting for them Okay, now we need a zip tie. Let's see if I can find this without pulling the basket up. Yeah, they're the small ones. We need to pull the basket up. There's a big one. There we go. I'm 
just thinking to myself. I pulled some stuff around, but I think the sand dollar and stuff is the way to go. I just can't figure out where I put them. I'll find them. And then I want to get me some seagulls. All right, let's put a piece of tinsel tie in there before I really tighten it up. There we go. Need a little more. There we go. All right. So where was that empty spot? <laughs> There it is. All right. Oh man, and with the Jackie weave, boy, you really can get down in there with your bow. Look at that. Awesome. Ah! Well, that's awesome. When you get to your destination, send me your, your, um, your address, Denise. Okay. I so appreciated your suggestion. Everybody loved it. I want you to stay safe. Yay. Awesome sauce. Where are you going to work, Denise? Don't be typing if you're driving. Answer when you can. I do have an anchor ribbon, but I'm not sure I want to use it for this one. I may be having another sign coming that I might want to need it, that I need it for. Okay, we got the big ones cut. Now let's work on the shorter ones, thinner ones. I know I have anchors too, but I just wanted seagulls on this. You will have to watch the replay. I showed them, I introduced all the signs Monday night, and then I told everybody to go to the Facebook page and vote. And everybody voted, and you won. That was the one that everybody kept talking about. Do you have special memories of the Cape Hatteras one? Had you visited it? Like, what was your inspiration for wanting one with the Cape Hatteras lighthouse? Because now I'm getting requests. Oh, cool. Oh, no. I hope it's just to work with some people. <laughs> You're not being arrested. You're not going to jail. You're just going to jail to work. Stay safe in there, honey. Yeah, now, now everybody wants a certain lighthouse. See what you started? <laughs> it's awesome for my business, so thank you. Us small businesses, we got to do whatever it takes to make our customers happy. And I think I made you happy. Okay, Susan, thank you. I'll be talking with you, I'm sure. Keep watching for the new signs and the new embellishments. I'm going to blow you guys away. Come on now. This bow is being a little stubborn. And I'm not for stubborn today. There we go. Now it's cooking. Way it's supposed to. Kind of. <laughs> okay. Now. I like that blue with the other blue. Maybe I should have used my fluff box. There we go. 
Now we're cooking. Pull this down. There we go. Now it's going the way it's supposed to go. Just being a little stubborn today. to put something in the middle though. Looks like it needs a little something. There we go. All right, we got our bow on there. Now let's get our lighthouse on there. Oh, blush, you guys. Woohoo! That's awesome. Well, this is going to be a memory for you. Now, when you make your wreath, I want to see it. I want pictures or a link if you go on live. Heck, you could even, if you didn't want to make a wreath, just put two holes here and put a nice um, ribbon and just hang it up in the house. I was at Joann's today buying fabric, and I came across, they had in 10 inch navy, or it's blue and white check mesh. So I'm thinking I may use that for the, for the live, love, bark sign. That was kind of cool. Or, or, oh, maybe this one. Now somebody the other night asked me and ordered it and gave me their dog breed, but they're not answering my question about it. I, I found their dog breed, a great Pyrenees, Pyrenees, and I sent them the picture and I'm waiting for them to okay it so I can make their sign and ship their sign. So if ever you're asking for something custom on your sign, you need to keep checking your um, email. Maybe I should put that on my bucket list. I'll have to go visit North Carolina to see the sign. What do you think? Ooh, this is not going. There we go. Got to move my curls here to accommodate. So 
the wire. There we go. There. That looks good. See there, I thought I could use those. I could have used those if I had the navy blue, but now I can't. So I'm going to have to uh, find me some seagulls or use the, the starfish and sand dollars. Man, I wish I knew where they were. this stuff but I'm not feeling it nope nope it needs a seagull I need seagulls now let's just fluff up some of my curls here and then I think we're done our ribbon. And I think I'm going to twirl some of this. Give it a little visual interest. Still got you guys? I should go to this side. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe that peach ribbon was not the right ribbon for in here. Maybe I should have used another tan ribbon. Maybe I should have used this instead. I don't know. What do you think? Should I have used this instead of the, the peach? Because the peach kind of gets lost in there. <laughs> what do you think? I think we should ditch the peach. I'm thinking that wasn't a good choice. So... I think this would have been better. Even though it's in there, I think this would have been better than the peach. Hey, Willie! To cover up those dots, I think we're going to ditch the peach ribbon. I am not liking the peach. So, I'll show you how we're going to do this. Oh, this computer. Don't you just love it? All right, we're ditching the peach on the bow. It's just not, not right. Okay. I'll be here. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut. Let me see. No, we're going to do this the right way. All right, we're going to take off the zip tie. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I just not like in the peach. And I changed my wreath the other week after, and I went and did a small video on what I did to change it. And when I did that, it didn't record right. So. We're just going to take that out. And we're going to remove 
this zippy tie lay it flat down and we're going to add this instead no there was oh yeah it was the ladybug wreath i changed the ribbon i took out the big one and put in two small ones and then could not get it to record for me it recorded but it wouldn't copy it and merge it with the other one so i <laughs> go figure all right so we're going to put this back together and we're going to do this the right way we're going to do it over again okay we're not going to do it we're going to do it over we want it to look right measuring all my loops to make sure they're right yep they are so we're putting that down then we're going to put this one in measure my loops yep now because i got the two uh, tails on that side we're going to put the two tails on this side i'm going to dovetail these two Then we use the blue. So we're going to put the blue in here. So we got our two tails on this side. So we're going to put our other two tails on that side. Then, where is it? I thought I had a narrow peach, and I don't. So, I got an idea. All right. Then we had this one. So, if tails are on that, why'd that make that smaller? adjusting here there we go so now my tails have to go on this side and then we have our aqua but I want a little extra color in the middle so, oops, wrong way. I want them on this side. So, because I don't have any narrow peach, we're going to fold this. I just want a little pop of color in the middle. I want that peach from the back to shine through. So, that's what we're doing. I'm just folding it in three. Just looping over. So there's my 14 inch um, tail. We'll bring that color forward. Da -da. Hey, Janet. Hey, Carol. Well, I don't have a solid yellow. I've got this yellow. have that yellow and the quadrifoil
Is that what you would use, Lily? You would go with the yellow instead of the peach? We've got, we've got some yellow in there. Uh, you know what? Let's do the yellow. Let's do... Because... The sign says, let light show the way. This can be our light. What do you think? Or, see this is the stripes. This is a different stripe than the one here. This goes the opposite direction. So I think rather than adding too much of the pattern, we'll go simple. What do you think? We'll let that be the light that shines the way. We'll just bring this in. Thank you, Willie. Awesome sauce. I think that's the ticket. Gosh, this ribbon is so good, too. Sturdy. It really holds its, its um, frame there. All right. Now we got to get another zip tie. Oh, heck. There it is. All right, we'll let that yellow be the light that shines the way. Okay? I didn't like that peach. It was pretty, but it was just fading into the wreath. <laughs> That's my GF. Right, Will? Oh, come on. Now I know I put that in there, right? There we go. All right. That's going to be the light that shines the way. It's always nice when you have a wreath to stick a little color in there that is somewhere in the sign. Just, just a little pop. Okay. Woohoo! Here we go again. Fluffing the dough again. <laughs> I think that's better. I'm liking it now. Before I wasn't liking it. Now I'm loving it. All right, let's tie her down. And I'm gonna snip it. Where did I find my wire cutters? Oh, and I showed everybody else before, but look, this is what I wanted to show everybody on Monday night. The apple blossom sign goes perfect with this mesh or with this ribbon that Susan was using on the two wreaths she did. I love that ribbon. All right, fluffing it again. Here we go. Now we're happy. I want all my tails down below. So, boy, is this ribbon stiff. I love stiff ribbon. Now we're cooking. That's what we wanted. Let me work on the ties, the tails. Now we're getting somewhere. All right. Now, let's pull all this up so I can see what I'm doing. First layer on the bottom was the check. So, 
There we go. Then the next layer was the canvas, which that screams nautical to me. I don't know about you. And then we have the blue and white, the navy, or royal blue, whatever you decide you want to call it. There it is. Let's put this one down here. There we go. Now we're cooking with juice. All right. How did that get over there? It's always got to be one color. It has to be stubborn. There we go. Now, the next coupler was the polka dot. And then our other blue that we pulled out of the sign. the other one. There it is. Oh my gosh, I got some real stubborn bows here. It's not getting me today. I have my Gordon fix. When I have my Gordon fix, I don't care what happens after that. This was the one I'm trying to pull, not that one. There we go. Come on. I'm going to have to go under. It's not cooperating going over. There we go. All right. And I'm trying to figure out where that one comes out at. There it goes. There. Jeez. Talk about uncooperative. I need this one more tub. There. All right. I could sit here all day and play with this. <laughs> and then we got our little light in the middle. Thank you, Willie, for that suggestion. All right. There we go. What do you think? Now all we need to do is add a starfish and some seagulls when I find them. I know. Isn't that beautiful? I have some on my my Etsy shop, I think. If not, I'll put it on. I think I do put I did put it on. Thank you, Kim. Yeah, I think 
I think we got all the colors in there. I still would like a little bit of peach in the middle. And I may just put a tail. Maybe that's what it needs. Just a little tail on top of all those colors. With it being on the bottom, we lost it. So maybe, like, it just needs just the subtle, subtleness laying. What do you think? Just that little bit coming out. What do you think? Just, just the tail. No loops. Laying on top of everything else. It's not getting lost. I think that's it. And then I find some seagulls. Aw, thank you. And I find a few seagulls to punch up here and a starfish down here. And it's ready. And this sign, um, Denise won. So when she sends me her address, that'll be gone out in the mail. Yeah, I think this needs to be in here. So this is how I'm going to add it going to put it in the middle of that little loop and pull it down on the sides. Actually, now we use the Jackie weave on this one. Actually, I'm going to add a little glue on the inside of that loop. And I'm going to hold that in place just till it adheres. Thank you, Dawn. That's very thoughtful. And again, thanks for having my back. I shot off a little cutesy note to that lady. Unless they're in our shoes. They don't have any room to talk. <laughs> Can't say anything nice. Get the heck off. Right? So there. Just that little pop of the peach. And then I'm going to roll these. Yeah, I like the peach on the upside instead of underneath. And I love the colors. And I finally got to use my peach. I love this peach mesh. I've had it for over a year. I actually had gotten this Christmas ribbon because I actually have little swans that are gold with peach. And I was going to use it on that, but I like it on this. I think it looks really good with these colors. Maybe we'll roll these too. Oh, darn phone. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it just needed that little peach on the top, but not on the bottom. Let's see. This one's kind of long. Alright, I'm done messing with it. There we go. Alright, seagulls and a starfish. So, there we go. I'm trying not to get glare on the side. <laughs> it's not working. There we go. Alright guys, keep watching because like I said, there's new uh, sign shapes coming. There's um, doggy tags coming where I can 
put your dog's name and phone number really cute ones and then I have new wreath attachments coming that you are just gonna love okay all right guys you have a great evening thanks for joining me thanks for sharing uh, thanks for hanging out thanks for participating in the contest and everybody who ordered signs yesterday and Monday they all got shipped today don't forget, I want to see pictures. If you're going live, I want to see your live. I want to share it and promote you because I appreciate you promoting me. Okay? All right, guys, stay safe. Gals, have a good evening. All right? Thank you.